cancer, like surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. But now doctors are turning up the heat, literally. They're using heat or hypothermia to kill cancerous tumors. WRAL's Dr. Alan Mask explains Duke researchers are using it to enhance the power of other cancer treatments. And Durham tried every option to fight bladder cancer, including surgeries and drug therapies. And the cancer went away, but then it came back. Now she's in a pilot study at Duke, receiving the drug mitomycin C in her bladder paired with hyperthermia. A radio frequency device heats the bladder up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. And this temperature is enough to improve delivery of this drug in the tumor and also sensitize this tumor to this drug. Radiation oncologist Dr. Zell Krowiaskiewicz uh, says the heat improves okay, blood flow in the tumor and increases oxygen. It makes resistant cells more responsive to drugs and to radiation. This is the last of Durham's six weekly treatments and the result? It's gone. I don't have any cancer. Other hyperthermia research is focused on breast cancer recurrence in the chest wall. And now we're going to use this uh, microwave applicator to heat the chest wall. Duke cancer researcher Dr. Mark DeHurst says the tumor killing drugs fill small fat molecules or liposomes. They melt in the heated treatment area. The liposome melting the drug coming out, penetrating into the tumor t cell, and ultimately killing the tumor cell. In mice models, you can actually see the difference in a 20-minute time lapse. Blood vessels are green, the drug is red. The standard drug delivery shows its release, but most of it is reabsorbed into the blood. Here, heat melts the liposomes and the drug stays in the tissue. For we know it's about a 30-fold increase in drug delivery. More of the drug is concentrated where the cancer is. So in many ways, the war against cancer is heating up. Dr. Allen, Mass WRAL Health Team. Duke researchers are also using MRI technology to develop non-invasive ways of delivering and measuring temperature in those cancer treatments.